welcome to Linwood Center Dental YouTube channel. I'm your host today, Dr. Randy Keller. Today's topic is gum disease. Gum disease is also known as periodontal disease if you talk to dental professionals. And what that is, is bacteria that have been left in the mouth that cause the gums to get inflamed. And over time, that inflammation in the gums progresses to the bone. The bone supports the teeth and the structures around the roots of the teeth and that can get um, uh, affected negatively where you have bone loss and the teeth can be affected neg negatively and become loose as well. Signs and symptoms for gum disease. In the beginning, they're silent. You don't even realize that they're there. And that is what is so dangerous about it. You think, oh, brushing teeth, flossing teeth, it's not that important. I'm very busy in my life and I understand that. That's the danger is that it creeps up on you and before you realize it, now you've got signs and symptoms that would have been prevented if you had brushed and flossed. So signs and symptoms of gum disease early on is swollen gums, red gums, gums that bleed and then it progresses. Then you can have teeth that will start to get over time affected because now that inflammation has gone into the bone. You can have bone loss. You can have the gum shrinking back from the teeth so you start to see the roots. And then with more and more bone loss, then the teeth will start to get loose. They'll start to get wiggly. Other signs and symptoms that you've got gum disease is you might have a bad taste in your mouth or you might have persistent bad breath. Maybe other people might notice it or mention it to you, a spouse or something like that. Um, and one of the final symptoms that you'll see is pus. You can have pus around the teeth and the gums coming out from those areas. And so that is the end stage of gum disease. In dentistry, one of our key focuses is to prevent gum disease from happening in the first place. At home, you need to brush and floss. But then you also need to come and see a dental professional. Come and see one of us so that we can have a look and we can detect early symptoms, early signs of gum disease to prevent it from occurring. Regular checkups, regular cleanings by a dental professional will all work to keep your mouth healthy and prevent you from getting gum disease at all. So one of the things patients ask me is, I've got gum disease, now what? So if you have gum disease and the teeth have been affected negatively, oftentimes the only option we have at that point is to remove the teeth. And then we look at other options dentures, partial dentures, in some cases, perhaps down the road, implants. Basically, we have to replace your natural teeth with some kind of artificial teeth. Thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.